This is Twit. I actually saw your article, uh, or maybe it was a tweet, about uh, these new Wi-Fi routers from Eero. Yes. So this is a 2,000-word review, and I feel like it didn't even cover all the things wow. one should cover. That's wow. how crazy. Well, so, there's one thing the big, right up top, 6E, right? Right. So that's because I'm not a gadget nerd. I'm just a nerd nerd. I'm mostly excited about the fact that this year we're getting Wi-Fi 6E, which to be honest, is not exciting in the sense that we can use it today because there's not a lot of 6E capable devices. But it's Awesome, because we have 1,200 megahertz of unlicensed spectrum for Wi-Fi that we can use, which is amazing. So, where, where 60, is it? Six gigs? Where is the 6E spectrum? It's in this. It's it's technically in the, like the 5.6 to something, but it's in the. It, it's called the six gigahertz band. So it's a very stuff. high. So, you know, first I thought when they started doing uh, five gigahertz, I thought, well, that's going to be so high, it's not going to go anywhere. But that's mm -hmm. actually turns out to be it's. It's real benefit because it doesn't go through walls. You don't get interference from neighbors uh, or anybody or yourself. And six <laughs> is matter. even better yeah. because you get these wide channel widths. So oh. this Eero, it supports 160 megahertz channels, which basically means you can pack a whole bunch of information in those megahertz and just send it all in one go, like a really big dump truck full of stuff, full of data. Um, how, how much is anyway. it? 160 megahertz wow. wide channels. So um, the entire FM band is, is 20 megahertz. <laughs> yeah. The entire AM band, I think, is 200 kilohertz. So that's a lot. <laughs> you could get all the yeah. AM, FM stations on there and then some. Wow. Wow. That's pretty good. But like 5G, it's up there. So it, it does attenuate. It, it doesn't go through walls. Um, this is a short distance for prime usage. But so there's a but Orbi, Linksys, uh, uh, Asus, they all have these routers out. So this is just the latest is Eero's routers. And I, I like Eero, I'm testing though. them now. Yeah. Miss Stacey, a I've lot of people do. They're user friendly. Yeah. I've heard you say a couple of times, short distance. So what exactly mm -hmm. is, is considered short distance when you're talking about this particular wavelength? It depends on your environment, but okay. think a couple of feet. Um, well, think, think not tens of feet, mm -hmm. uh, like 10 feet. It's think a room. 10 feet. It's basically a room. Just a room. It's, yeah. Okay. So, but that's good because you don't, if you have a neighbor in an apartment next to you or even a house nowadays, people blast their Wi Fi. Yeah. Th that won't interfere with yours. Okay. Do you have any 6E devices? I do. I have the phone you sent me. Oh, it was literally the only. Funny you should ask. It was ask. the only 6G device. I actually knew that. I was that. so excited. Because throughout the review, it says, when testing speeds on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 in my dining room, <laughs> and a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 has a Wi-Fi 6E capable radio, that's good. I'm glad I'm, that makes it even better that you got that. Because otherwise, you, so, would, you wouldn't be able to test, be able it. test it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's a good yeah. point, is most people do not have devices that will take advantage. Yeah, of. you don't need to rush out and buy this. But two years, I, maybe? I, I highly soon. You know, here's you should buy it if you've got like if you have a press it, like your Wi Fi five router just mm -hmm. broke, mm -hmm. then sure, go yeah, get this. Go ahead. Um or get a six E capable router. You can decide if you want to I this. would because it's the, a standard now and so devices will start coming out. Just as oh uh, yeah. You know, most YouTube phones now are Wi Fi six. It just took a little while to but, mm -hmm. But don't, don't, I mean, again, you don't have to rush. If you're going to upgrade your computer or phone and you're going to have a 6G, I would say whenever you get your first 6G device that you're really stoked about, you know, then you can go buy your first, or sorry, 6E six, e, six e device. <laughs> <laughs> then go and get this um, to go with it or go and get a 6E capable router. Now, I will say like the Orbeez and the Linksys, both of those are like $1,500, $1,200. And they're multi, multi gigabit. Like I think it's eight and 11 gigabits per, respectively. Eero's done a nice job in the sense that if you don't have, if you have a gigabit connection, this is going to be fine for you. If you've got a small office, you know, go up. Um, if you've got machines capable of transferring data inside your LAN, or it would be your WAN, um, or it would be your WLAN. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, let me get there. 
then I guess, but it, it seems like overkill. Like the cool thing for this story is I think Eero is probably taking the right tack, recognizing what we have available as bandwidth for consumers and serving something that is, it's still kind of pricey. And it, you know, it's though, it's about the same price as the older Eros. So they're kind of hitting. I'm so pissed that I have the older Eros. Yeah. They're, they're, I, think I spent they said a lot of money for. When Eero came out, they were considered really, really expensive. Mm -hmm. Everybody else has gone up and gone beyond them now. And Eero's just kind of stayed at that $500 uh, price point, which is good. <laughs> And so, and they also launched, I didn't review these, but they launched the six plus and then they lowered their price on their regular six ones. So, and honest, it, the, the, the final thing I'll say about this, cause I really was curious and have been for a while, Nick Weaver, who is the CEO of Eero, he said, Hey, you know what? I think five years is about the right time for transfer, like switching out. Your I'd say that's right. Routers. I'd agree with him. And I'm, I agree with him. Because yeah. technologies change. Uh, unfortunately, security issues crop up. Sometimes they don't get patched. It's mm -hmm. probably a good idea every every four or five years to update your router. I agree. So there you go. How was, fast is uh, how fast did you do a bandwidth test on the fine Samsung Galaxy um, Flip? I did, and you know I can't get above five hundred megabits per That's second fine. anywhere in my house on the device, That's which is yes, fine. it is Smoking. it is fine. But I do you have, have a gigabit. gigabit. Yeah, yeah. Wi-Fi is almost always half what the nominal speed mm -hmm. is. Yeah, oh, internally the mm, it's not a rule, but it's very common. Seems to be the yeah, average. I'd say fifty to sixty percent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of of uh, but it is wired. so. I will say these are like two and a half to three x faster than my existing. Like nice. all of my existing devices ran yeah. two to two and or, very nice two and a half to so three times faster. That's been a big change. Phones have gotten uh, even on. Uh, uh, 5G, but even on Wi-Fi, they've gotten much faster. It used to be the phone, even if you could get a 500 megabit yeah. connection, couldn't do more than 100 or 200. They really, uh, they put better chips in there and better radios, and they're much faster than they used to be. Do you know if the iPhones have an upload limit? Because my husband noticed when he was testing on his iPhone, he could not get more than like 120 something or 130. And I didn't know. Oh, no, they may. That was a they may be a. Problem. You know what? Let me, let me look. I don't think I've ever seen more than a hundred megabits up. So maybe there is a limit. Yeah. That may. I, that may be. I don't know. Why, why would, would they do? Why that? would you throttle up? Well, yeah. you don't. For one thing, you don't want to saturate the connections because if you do, then if you're using the maximum upstream, your downstream stops. Mm -hmm. So, but it also probably is to save money. I don't know. I'll investigate. That's a good question. I do not know. I'm actually pretty excited because um, the new Macs, the Mac Studios, and uh, and some of the M1s support 10 gigabit Ethernet. Mm -hmm. And we, mm -hmm. as it turns out, have 10 gigabit symmetric eth uh, Internet from Sonic, which nothing we've had has been able to use. <laughs> but, I, oh, yeah. but I now can... So I asked uh, Russell, I said, is there any way I can get a 10 gigabit drop in my office? He said, yes. So we'll see. I will be... Uh, so you're going to load a bunch of shows simultaneously well, he said, in 8K? It doesn't really matter because there's no website going to be able to keep up anyway. <laughs> but, you know, faster is always better. We are at the point now where we're really as fast as any website ever is going to be, I think. But yeah, if you're awesome. downloading something from a very fast site. Actually, you know what he said? Uh, that the Google Drive storage, We are in, our uh, editors have 10 gigabit at their desktops as well. And he's noticed that the Google Drive uploads are... Very fast, not ten mm -hmm. maybe, but but much fat gigabits faster. So yeah, you can, you can. Uh, so here we go. Support Scooter X on the job from our chat room. iPhone Wi-Fi specifications, channel bandwidth. Does this say what this? This just says what they can do. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, maximum data rate. It does look like on BGNN, the, the, well, is this up or down? Well, I don't know. Hmm. I'll have to, I'll yeah, have to, uh, it's hard to tell. I have to look at this more carefully. It, it may just be a weird thing on his phone. I don't know. <clears throat> but you should you try it with the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. See how it works. Um, I did. What's the upstream? It works really well. Uh, <laughs> Hold on. Let me go back to my... Oh, I do not realize off the top of my head. Um, I, 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 upstream was... What, hold on. Which is the right one? 
Uh, 341 wow. megabits per second up. Going up? Wow. Yeah. Was pretty, yeah. Good. Wow. I was like, I could film a movie on my yeah. Samsung Stream Galaxy Z Fold 3. Stream it live. 